I can't do it, is what she says. I simply can't admit students without prior musical training. My teaching methods, Mrs Henderson, are rather more specific than I think you understand. A jazzy pulse begins, just drums and double bass. She swirls her spoon and taps it once. The clarinet is tadpole to the sax. Can you see that? The clarinet is a black and silver sperm, and if you love this sperm very much, it will one day grow into a saxophone. And you know, it's funny to look back on the rehearsal now because the 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 book is I can see the I can see the, the stamp of that, but my ideas have changed so much, my attitude towards the subject matter has changed so much, um, that it's not that I, I disagree with the mind that produced the rehearsal, or that I'm um, embarrassed of the, that mind, or regretful of it, or anything like that, but it's more that um, um, I can just see how, how distant I am. She leans forward across the desk. Mrs Henderson, at present, your daughter is simply too young. Let me put it this way, a film of soured breast milk clutches at your daughter like a shroud. Mrs Henderson is looking down, so the saxophone teacher says, rather sharply, do you hear me, with your mouth like a thin scarlet thread in your deflated bosom and your stale mustard blouse? Mrs Henderson nods imperceptibly. She stops fingering the sleeves of her blouse. I require of all my students, the saxophone teacher continues, that they are downy and pubescent, pimpled with sullen mistrust and boiling away with private fury and ardour and uncertainty and gloom. I require that they wait in the corridor for ten minutes at least before each lesson, tenderly nursing their injustices, picking miserably at their own unworthiness as one might finger a scab or caress a scar. It's funny now because I look back on what's now the first um, sentence of my new book and I, I see this extraordinarily long time, this genesis behind that first word that nobody else would, that nobody else would see because for them it's only a time capsule of the time it took, took to read it. Can you say <laughs> what the first sentence is? Yeah sure, the, uh, the first sentence is the twelve men congregated in the smoking room of the Crown Hotel gave the appearance of a party accidentally met yeah, so that, that took me six months. <laughs> <laughs> and what's in those six months? A lot of reading, yeah. I, I, um, I think that the, as a writer I, I feel like my, my brain is a, is a room that I need to um, furnish um, and keep furnishing because the writing kind of um, is constantly taking that furniture away. You have a very, quite a very small close-knit group. Um, you're reading each other's work over the course of a year. So you know at the beginning they read, in my case, my colleagues read the first 30 pages of the rehearsal in April and then in July they read the first 100 pages and so on. And so your works are really growing out of this community.